Okay, so the two new moves for today are sumo squat and a curtsy lunge, is what I call it, or some people call it a, a skater lunge. So I'll go through those. You can uh, have your weights for these if you want. You can uh, hold on to them. So for the sumo squat, you're going to stand with your feet, your toes pointed outwards. You want to make sure you got a good distance so that when you squat down, your knees don't just crack out over your toe. And so you're going to just kind of sit back so you get nice 90 degrees here. And uh, push into your heels and come up. You squeeze your buttocks together as you come up. So if you're holding weight, you can hold them here at your hips, or you can hold them up at your shoulders. Or you can just hold your hands out as you squat down and up. So for a little curtsy lunge, I like to do. So you're going to do 10 on each side. You can alternate or do 10 on one side first and then 10 on the other. So you're just going to kind of step, you're almost going to lunge, but what you're going to do, you're going to cross this leg behind and come down. You get as close to the floor as you can, but without really putting a lot of twist on this knee, you still want this foot to be kind of straight. Um, you're going to feel it into your booty here as you push down into your heel and then come back up. Again, you can go and do your 10 on one side. I kind of like to do an actual curtsy. It makes keep my balance a bit more. You can hold on to weights as you do this. So like I said, now you can do 10 on one side, or you can do one, then come and do the other. And you can go alternate back and forth if you want it. Okay, so those are the two new moves for this week, and continue with the moves from the last two weeks as well. Okay, so we're going to begin with a squat. So your feet are hip width distance apart. Slight bend at the knees to begin. You're going to draw your low belly in so you have a little curve in your low back. And you're going to sit back as you are sitting on a chair. Come down to 90 degrees at the knees and back up, pushing through your heels. And for your arm placement, you can have it in front, you can have it on your waist, or you can outstretch the hands for balance. Now we're going to begin with reverse lunges. So for this one, you're going to step back and come down so your knees are at 90 degrees and back up to start. And you're going to alternate step back with the other one. So when you're doing this, you want to make sure that your front leg, that your knee doesn't extend out over the toe. And you want to keep your back with a little curve in the low back, but you don't want to stick that butt aft too forward and you don't want to lean forward too much at the hips. All right, for this one, you're going to be on your hands and knees. So your hands are underneath your shoulders and your knees are hip width distance apart. You're going to have, draw your low belly in so you get a little dip in your lower back. And you're going to put your weight into your left hand and your right knee as you extend your right arm and left leg back and up off the floor. And bring it back down to the floor and alternate and back. So you're going to alternate this back and forth for 10 times on each side. So narrow squat, you're going to have your feet together and knees together. Uh, again, draw your low belly in so you get a little dip in your low back. And you're going to sit back as you're going on a chair and back up again. So you get as close as 90 as you can, maybe a little bit more difficult for the narrow than it was with the uh, regular squat. And you're going to do 10 reps. And again, repeat depending on what your rank was this week when you fit test. Okay, starting with feet together, you're going to step to one side. Make sure your knee doesn't track out over your toe. And you're going to lunge down, try getting to 90 and back up to start. And go to the other side and back up. So keep your belly in as you do this. Protect your low back. And you're going to do 10 reps on either side. 